What is up guys, Jeremy here back again with another video. I'm gonna show you guys what I got real quick. Um, <clears throat> also I have a guest. You can see his car back here. We haven't seen him in forever. What's up? Well you guys have and I see JJ all the time but you guys just aren't that lucky. But you're gonna see him on this video, hopefully the next one. I must say I know you missed me. Yeah Tom, you know, he hasn't commented since you left. I know. All right, well I'm gonna let JJ's camera holding company take over. LLC. This is the bar itself, it's actually got some good weight on it, stainless steel. Assuming this probably isn't powder coat. I think it's powder coated. Mm -hmm. Let's look at the edges. Oh. Nah, maybe. It might be. It's either powder coated or just regular paint, but. This, this may be pretty well. I mean, it's, it's uh, not bad. So here we've got our support rods. Well, I've got one down here, the other one's still in the bag. This too, also stainless steel, um, adjustable. This is a universal harness bar, so we're gonna see how this does. Like I said, I'm pressed for time, so I'm gonna go ahead. And, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and start, sorry, we, me and JJ are gonna go ahead and start trying to put this in uh, the short amount of time that we have. So we'll go ahead and get started. Word. Anything you wanna say? Anything to your haters? I know you got some on here. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, guys, so first thing I'm gonna do, this is really easy, just pop it off. Now, this is a, I don't have Torx bits here right now. I'm gonna guess this might be a T45, T50. I'm using an Allen wrench, you can use this too. I don't know what size this is, whatever. Go in your garage, find something. I'm not a big channel, I don't do install videos. <laughs> so, uh, what you see is what you get, honestly. So, pop that loose. You're gonna have to put a little bit more force on it than that. I've already pulled this off. And we actually had to go to Home Depot to get new bolts. And I will show you guys why here in a second. Another thing you're going to have to do for this harness bar, go ahead. I'd say just pull this cover off. It's super easy. Just pops out. That's definitely going to get in the way and it's probably going to look crappy. But So what you're going to kind of have is that here's why we bought new bolts this is going to be one of our mounting spots so what i was going to do i was actually going to mount because you can't really you kind of can not very well though so what i was going to do is mount it just like this but the thing is what would you call that on the bolt a shoulder a shoulder you really can't get far look at this i mean you're not going to get past that so even just trying to put it on here like this, you'll get it. It's gonna have a lot of play. Yeah, in it. but I mean that's it. It barely reaches the threads. So. And the bolt's gonna be sticking out. It's gonna look bad. Oh yeah. And then you try and go and put this on top of that. It's just it's it's too deep. You're not gonna make it. So I recommend getting new bolts, which JJ has over there. So we got a couple different bolts. You can go to Home Depot and measure these um, with your factory one to see which one fits. Just to fly, we found ours to be, well, his to be M12. Yes. Um, and he got M12 inch and a half by, what is it, three inch? Something like that. So, fits perfect in here. Now, what we want to do is, let's make sure I've got this right. It should come back that way. This should definitely fit. Clears that hole perfect. And actually, doesn't look bad because you've got the chrome there. So. Worst case scenario, you can paint them. I mean, it's not like yeah. you can't paint them. And we tried to find some that were black uh, uh, coated with the nitrate, uh, but unfortunately Home Depot didn't have any. And we're kind of pressed for time, but we can always go back in here and either paint them or give them some different bolts for it. Working out? Yeah. Perfect. Actually fits pretty good back there. I'll leave this how it is now so we can adjust it. And this is where we're gonna see if the bar actually fits in here. Only thing that's weird, the other one doesn't have these little grooves. Not sure if that's side specific. Of course, this did not come with any instructions. Yes. The bolts were laying yeah. in the bottom of the box. <laughs> so, oh my gosh, dude. And I'm not, bad, not batting off the people who, you know, I bought it from, it's just, I didn't like that. It, it sucks that it didn't come with so much. I know it's a pretty self-explanatory, and yeah. luckily enough, both of us have done this before, Ow. so it's not so bad. But you know, if you've never done it before, it'd be nice to have a couple of instructions just so you can 
get an idea of where to start at. Yeah, really. I mean, if you've never done it before, you don't even have a slightest idea of where does it go. Does it go, does it go behind the plastic molding? Does it go in there? What, do I have to remove the trim? What do I need to do? See, this is just awkward more than anything just because there's no room in these cars. But just kind of pull your seatbelt to uh, get some slack. Should have got a V6 CTSV? Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Damn, he, I'm just playing. I'm he just went playing. there. I'm just playing. Honestly, I am just playing. I guess we'll go ahead and rock and uh, put the uh, bar. We'll tighten these up a little bit. You want me to hand it to you and uh, do the bar and then tighten it up as we go? Yeah, guys, we'll be right back. We're going to get everything situated, tighten these up just a little bit more. We'll go ahead and try and put this bar in. All right, so let's see how this does. <laughs> All right, guys, what I'm about to do, I'm about to take this screwdriver and just lock in one of these spots. See, we left these loose for this reason, so we can kind of figure out. It needs to... Should it goes back like this right here, dude? Yeah, because the seats. Yeah, the seats go back, but... All right. Be right back, guys, actually. Probably shove this in here to hold it. All right. Man. Now let me go grab the other thing. You can't beat that. That's awesome. Slide one of these in. Once you've got it threaded, I'll pull this out and use that. Probably shouldn't have used what we needed to tighten it up with. <laughs> you lose it? JJ is tightening it up right now. I'm trying. Attempting to. It's it's a little tougher than it looks, but it's not horrible. That, that one's really short. I know. They give us longer ones, but they don't fit, so. Oh, it's it's counter song. Oh, okay, it goes into it. Okay, I see now. All right, so you got that? Yeah, it's an inch short. You got your one. I'm gonna see. So I was having issues with mine, lining it up. You're most definitely going to need a buddy. Yeah, definitely have a friend with you to do this. It's so close, but I can't see. Yeah, that was my... Oh, I got nothing. I got to play something. Fuck it. There it is. Alright, so that's Alright guys, um, let's get the other camera. That's on, obviously we don't know where we want to put it yet. We just kind of got it set on there. So, so you can see guys, so he's got... Oh, it quit moving. Oh, yeah, it tightened up. So I was worried about this because I didn't think it was going to really hold well. But it is. Can you get your end? Well yep. actually, well yeah, here. Jay's gonna tighten his end up. A lot of see this one in are good now. There you go. I'll leave it like so, that. Sorry for the blurriness, guys. So right there you've got your bolt, your first bolt you put in there that pulls this bracket in. Yep. And then you got this bolt right here that screws in the whole to the bracket. And we got them kind of loose right here so you can move it. Yeah, because what we need to do is first off get the rods and we're gonna mount those. Sorry for the mess. Down here at the bottom. And here's the rod. Oh yeah, and the rods look great. So, so one goes out at the bottom, one goes to here. Oh, that looks great. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Same thing um, that we did up here. You're just gonna do on the lower seatbelt bracket. So that's gonna be your lower bracket right here. That looks like the same T uh, WTF. So just go ahead and use your Allen wrench. We've got one support bar down on the harness bar here. Everything looks good. This is just one support rod, and it's. Super sturdy. Actually seems like pretty good quality. Hardware is not too bad. We did have to source four bolts So which we uh, talked about what kind those were earlier. Just get you four of those. You should be good to go So tell them why I'm leaving the seat belts on. If you drive long distance say an hour or so with just harnesses You can't move. You can't move forward. You can't adjust. It's hard to look out the window too, making a turn yeah. You know when you go to a stop and try to look out you can't do that. So if you leave these in here, if you're going long distances, going to a you know a track or something like that, and you're driving a car, 
this is a lot more comfortable, especially if you're having your wife, your girlfriend ride with you. you you're gonna want your stock seat belt in there. Now, if you just go into the track, I'd most definitely pull these out. Most definitely. Yeah. I mean, there's nothing to have them there. They're kind of dangerous. More of a track. trailer car. Right. But in reality, if you're tracking the car and you're towing it, you're not gonna have a harness bar. You're gonna have a roll bar or a roll cage. Yeah. So for me, this is just looks. I really like the way this looks. You guys can roast me on that. And you're going to VIR soon, so you're gonna need it anyway. Yeah. We are planning on taking it to VIR hopefully soon. So we'll make a video on that. I'm not sure when. No telling, but we were actually just talking about that. So, anyways, so what you doing right now? Trying to put the bottom bolt in. It's kind of very pain because you can't see it in GM, of course. Yeah, it's like over to like the the right. Yeah. It's weird. The hell home popped right in for me. I'm, I'm yeah, I was struggling, and JJ just like popped it right in. Watch it be reversed on this one. You're gonna pop this one right in. So I'm fixing to give up. Oh, you know what? Somebody didn't do on this one. Loosen them up. Loosen up the. That's probably what's stopping uh, right there. Guys. Yes, bring this up. This is bigger. There is actually a top and bottom. You're not going to get these thick bolts through that top one. You're going to have to run it through the bottom, which you would have figured it out eventually on your own like we did. I'm sitting here pushing this thing like, why didn't it going in? <laughs> JJ's like, bro, there's probably two different sizes. I was like, oh, well, you're probably right. And then also the <laughs> adjustment of this right here that screws out of yes. two of size I hooks. Yes. I think this is going to look really cool, though. I guess we'll just go ahead and finish up, and then we'll make a... Quick video afterwards when we're done. The harness bar is installed. What do you think, JJ? Hey, it was sweet. It's nice. Just with a little uh, addition. Yes, yes. Yeah, so we added a little, little extra to it. A little personal touch. I think it. I should raffle these. So I was yeah. honestly, I wanted to give it away. I don't know. I think this is the one though. I think this is what I want to do. I wanted to give it away, but I'll tell you guys now. I work crazy hours. I don't make a lot of money. I just like giving back to you guys, but I think maybe a raffle, maybe $10 per person. What do you think? I think it sounds pretty good. What's up? Oh, you want to film? Yeah. Yeah, $10 a person. So let's go look at it. Car's still kind of a mess, but there it is, guys. That looks really good. I like it. Added this right here. I really like it. It's actually really good quality. Like you can take your hand and just, wow. You can actually feel it on the, uh, on the body. Feel it, yeah. Yeah, you can feel it move the whole body. I didn't think I was gonna like it this much, but I really like it, guys. Dude, that looks good. And it was not that hard to install. I mean, it was a little, no. a little tedious in certain places. Yeah. But other than that, it's, it's not hard at all. It, it wasn't not. bad. No. It really Nothing wasn't. Not at all. So I say next week's video, next week's, <laughs> next week's video. We're going to do go ahead and do the uh, install video next week of the harness. I wanted to do it all together, but they didn't come yet. So stay tuned for the next video. We will go ahead and do the, uh, the harness install. I'm curious. I think it's going to look really good. Comment below if you guys think to uh, keep the seat belts, the factory seat belts in or just go with the four point harness that I ordered. I don't drive the car, but maybe once, twice every weekend. Um, it's not my daily driver. So I did think about just running the harness bar and harness and pulling out the factory seat belts because I thought they looked kind of silly hanging there. But, but let me know what you guys think. But anyways, guys, that's it. JJ, see you later. Have a good one, guys. Um, catch you on the next one.